Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the end of the month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We do want to apologize, we're running a bit behind on these readings. It's just been uh, very chaotic. <laughs> but anyways, let's get into your reading Capricorn. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance for the remaining of February going into March 2020. Now, your first card is, is it safe for you to love? Second card, healing family issues. Okay. And your final card, worth waiting for. Okay. Now, what they're telling me here is that a lot of you Capricorns out there, especially those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, um, there is almost this feeling of, I feel like resistance, but I feel that it's more on a mental level. Um, perhaps you have found yourself in relationships where um, you often sacrifice some part of you to be able to make the person or your partner happy, and it just hasn't worked out. And what they're saying here is that I see you guys extremely guarded. I see you guys extremely careful careful in the sense of like you've been extremely tainted or you feel like you just perhaps it's not in your destiny to find a long-term relationship for others of you it could just be the fear of giving yourself or opening yourself up or giving your heart because it's been you know it's been uh stampled on it's been you know it's, it's it's this pressure in the heart, almost like it's been broken so many times that uh, I see you guys like debating, like, you know, kind of convincing yourself that you're better off without being like in partnerships. And what they're saying is open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So in retrospect, what they're telling you here is that you are worthy of love, Capricorn. You are worthy of finding someone that is going to give their heart the way you give it that is going to the thing about Capricorns is that a lot of the times and, and I do see this on a lot of like other people that try to read of Capricorns uh, that they are extremely cold that they're extremely distant uh, that they're just very difficult people it's like they don't have any feelings or whatnot and the, the best way of describing a Capricorn is your earth, Capricorn. Uh, so think of it as earth itself. It's sturdy, it's strong, it's powerful. But when you love, when you give your love, when you open your heart up genuinely to someone, there is absolutely nothing you would not do for your partner, for your family, for your kids, for your grandkids, etc. The list goes on. And the reason behind that is because you're so connected to roots. You're so connected to that of the family dynamic as a whole. You are the father figure, whether you're a female or male, it doesn't matter. Um, some come into it very young, at very young age, feeling that, that momentum of stress or that momentum of responsibility. Others come into it later in life. But regardless, what they're saying here is that you know, like I said, when you give yourself, when you give that love, when you give that, you know, yourself to someone, uh, you love so deeply and it takes longer than most signs to move on. And the reason for that is because you guys are not so easy to give up. You know, it's not in your nature. Even if you see things going shit awry, you're, you're going to go through it. You're going to stick through it. You're going to fix it. That, that's your mentality. We're going to fix it. We're going to get through this. Unfortunately, when does it get to the point of being enough is enough? When does it get to the point of loving yourself enough to not accept anything less than what you deserve or anything less than what you're willing to do or give to your partner? And, and that's what they're saying here. And when we talk about relationships or how you love and how you move on from that, Think of it as earthquakes, right? The earthquake could stop now and it doesn't mean that 
the earth will never be the same. Uh, there's cracks, you know, there, there's cracks in the earth. There is, there is the, the outcome of the aftermath of what happened. So what they're telling you here, Capricorn, is take those experiences and learn from them. Let them or allow them to teach you, but don't let them get you to the point of being almost cynical when it comes to relationships or when it comes to partnerships. Don't portray this strong, you know, individual that perhaps you've convinced yourself, like I said, that you're better off without being in a long-term committed relationship. What they're saying here is that acknowledge that feeling and acknowledge where it's coming from and why you feel the way you do. Only then are you going to be able to heal to accept that, you know what, if you've put or invested time in this relationship and it just hasn't worked out or they just have not been able to meet you halfway, then it's time to let go. And the only way to do that is to don't fall back into the habit because they're, com because they're comfortable or because you feel familiar to them that it's easier to retreat rather than to move forward. What they're telling you here is that Healing family issues is something that is currently happening. Whether this was, you know, something that you learned or perhaps how you were taught to love has a lot to do with the family dynamic that you you were brought up in. Um, who was the self-sacrificing person? Was it your father? Was it your mother? Uh, did they put up with a lot of things that they shouldn't have put up with for the sake of the family? That type of thing. And understanding that on a deeper level you're able to move forward releasing that feeling of you're not worthy enough and then that person that is right for you will step forward worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so for those of you guys that have been single for a while uh, whether you think you're or whether you've convinced yourself that you don't need partnerships at the moment it is something that is very important and very close to your heart and what they're saying here is that heal through the experiences you have gone through to be able to move forward uh, in a positive way and to be able to finally find someone that is, you know, that has the same morals, the same ideals, the same uh, focus or desires and wants that you want. Someone that is going to make you a better person, but it's going to want to make you a better person. Um, and you're going to want to be a better person for them. If you're dealing with toxic relationships or with a specific person that is from the past, that is toxic, that comes and goes, that has no responsibility, understand that this is who they are and that's their nature. And the reason for that has a lot to do with how they were raised or how they were brought up. You're not going to be able to change them. You need to accept that as a reality and work through that whether it be wanting to basically accept them for what they are or to love yourself enough to walk away for, for what's not working for you. Also, be mindful that whatever it is that you're putting the family dynamic as a whole through, uh, as an example, if you're in a toxic relationship and you have children, this is what you're teaching them. So be mindful about that. Be understanding of that. And not to put more pressure on you. Uh, I know you guys are born with a lot of pressure. <laughs> but what they're saying here is take it seriously. Take it seriously because ultimately this is what you're teaching your children. Uh, whatever it is that's going on in your household or in your dynamic, that is what you're molding your children to grow up and feel like it's okay to be in this type of situation or in this environment because it's going to be very natural for them. Um, now, for those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship, um, sorry, for those of you guys that have been in a, uh, or have been single for quite a while, the same message applies. Um, take the experiences or lessons that have, you know, that you have experienced, that you have gone through. This is only making you wiser, but don't let it make you cynical Capricorn. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see each other soon. Bye.